Module 1.7 The Pattern Matcher Welcome to Module 1.7 of your Proform Professional Training Course. In this seventh module, which is the last of Module 1, we will look at the Pattern Matcher in the Form Book. The Pattern Matcher allows you to find any distinct patterns in a horse's form. These could be good patterns or bad patterns. How to use the Pattern Matcher By default, the Pattern Matcher is turned off when you are viewing a race. To turn the pattern matcher on is very simple. Once you're in the form book and viewing a race, the pattern matcher tab has a tick box on the top of it, which as soon as you tick, the pattern matcher is turned on. The pattern matcher is split up into various subcategories race type, going and weight, class and field size, distance. Qualification and classifications, day since last run and time of year, jockey drawn age, pace value, odds, and official ratings, and with two additional tabs, all patterns that shows you all of the patterns we've just looked at, which you can scroll up and down, and the original old pattern matcher that was the first incarnation of the pattern matcher, and this shows not as many categories and the patterns are shown as a form string. We'll start back on the race type and course patterns and the pattern matcher changes every time you select a different horse. In essence all of the past form for the horse is split up into the patterns on each of these tabs and each pattern will show you the horse's record under the various conditions. So for instance, on the race type and course, the course is listed at the courses where this horse has run. So it's had five runs at Windsor, one at Salisbury, one at Sandown. And in this case, today it's running at Brighton, which is highlighted in yellow because it's today's course. It's had three runs, one win and one placed effort. So the fields on each of the grids are wins, win strike rate, place, place strike rate and runs. So if we take a look at Uncle Dermot, that's had just one run at Brighton and didn't win our place. And if we scroll down we can see the, the rest of the courses that it's run at. And we could size the screen so you can fit more of the patterns on or you could look at all patterns and scroll down and look at all the patterns in one go. So if we go back to Katmai River and back to the course patterns, you can see it's had four runs and two wins at Brighton. So by splitting the horse's form out into various subcategories, you can quite quickly see if there are any patterns in the horse's form. Filters and the pattern matcher. Quick and advanced filters affect the pattern matcher results. This enhances the feature and allows you to really dig deep into an horse's patterns. So we're back in the farm book again, and Katmai River has quite a lot of turf runs, but even more all weather runs. This race tomorrow though is on the turf, so we could use the quick filters and deselect them all and just select turf and apply. So we're now only looking a turf form for this race and the pattern matcher also refreshes and only shows you the patterns on turf. So Katmai River's record is 14 runs and 4 wins and 3 places on turf, two of which are at Brighton and we could then go through the various categories again and see if there's any patterns that stand out. Or use the original pattern matcher which sometimes it's easier to see the patterns in a form string line. So we could also extend the filters. Today's going is soft. So we could use the filters we set up in the previous training session and switch on just soft and heavy ground form. So this applies the filter and we're now only looking form on soft or heavy ground. And the pattern matcher again refreshes to reflect this. Katmai River's record on soft and heavy ground is 41401. 
with a win at Brighton and a place at Brighton. And if we go back into the various subcategories, we're now only seeing a cut down version because it's just soft or heavy ground form. And we could go through each horse and look at the various pattern matcher screens and see if there's anything that stands out. And if we take the previous Brighton race, we've still got the filter set. I Life Dancer has got quite a good record on soft and heavy ground. And we can see from the patterns whether there's anything else stands out within that. Ben Along has quite a good pattern in that it's got a good record on soft and heavy ground, 1915, and the two wins are both at Brighton. So just by setting a couple of filters and then going back through the pattern matcher and the various tabs, horse's form can stand out in quite a different way. So here we are now on another race, which is an all-weather race. And just to highlight how patterns can throw up quite good angles, We've got Munsarim selected and we're on the Qualifications and Classifications tab. And we can see in claiming races it's 6 from 6, with today's race being a claiming race, whereas only 2 from 19 in handicaps. And if we filtered this to just all weather races, we can see all of these 6 claiming wins are on the all weather, with 0 from 5 in handicaps. Well that's it for module 1.7 training session. Tomorrow module 2.0 will become available to you and we'll be moving on to seven modules all about the system builder. In the meantime have a play with the pattern matcher. You will find many angles in our horse's form will appear.